Hello. So in the previous video, what we did is we built a basic logistic model and then submitted it to Kaggle and we were able to see the prediction of it, right? So it was roughly around 79904, right? Now, what we're going to do is build decision trees and see if we can improve that particular model, right? Now in decision trees, there is a lot of things that we can do like tune the hyperparameters, but we're just going to stick to the basic model and see if the basic model performs better. So to do that, what we're going to do is go, and go to the decision tree from SKLearn. You can Google this and it'll, it'll take you to this particular page. Uh, here, so what we're going to do is uh, from SKLearn, we're going to import the tree and the decision tree classifier and then fit the model on that, right? So there's going to be a minor change. Uh, just walk with me on this one, right? So for, for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy here and call this as decision tree and give the date as 24. Cut it and say rename, right? So this is a decision tree solution. So let's go ahead and run the codes from top, right? So I run all the codes there, all my data sets. And then I created X train, Y train, X validation, Y validation. We have to idly do a print test split by the model selection from print test split. Right? But uh, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll try to do it with a different model and this particular method. But for this model, let's just stick to the one that we have already been doing. Now, in this particular place is where we want to differ, right? Um, so here, we want to get the tree model and we're going to get the decision tree classifier, right? It's, it's that simple switch. And then instead of log model, I'm going to call this as a tree model. Instead of a logistic regression classifier, I'm going to replace it with a decision tree classifier. I'm just copying that, pasting it here, and decision tree classifier can just do away with any of the arguments, right? Now, all I need to do is replace all the places where I have a log model and keep running the code. So I imported the decision tree classifier, built an instance of it, and then fit the model on a decision tree, right? And you can see there are a lot of parameters that are available. That is, you know, the what kind of criteria you have, whether it's a guinea, the max depth, max features, max leaf nodes, um, you know, and a lot of other parameters, right? Now, that's where the hypertuning comes in um, where we're going to use grid search to basically tune these parameters and see if we can get the best model from a decision tree classifier. But for now, we're going to stick to the basic, as I said, and let's go move forward. So here I'm going to score the model and you can see this, the, you know, model has been uh, fitted and it's 0 0.9229, right? And which is uh, a big leap over the over the score that we have with the logistic model. Now we might not we, we might be excited about this particular score, but decision trees are known for overfitting, which is a big issue, right? And um, obviously, so if it performs best in the validation data set, that's when we know that this model is work, working fine, right? Uh, log models, uh, the decision tree models don't have any coefficients. So I'm just going to delete it doesn't have any intercepts. I'm going to delete it and uh, you must show what decision trees are best for. Right? So if I say mod pre-model dot and then look at what they have, uh, you know, we can basically look at the feature importances, there, right? So these are the features that we have there, right? What I can do is to be able to look at what are the best, best features among the three models. What I can do is I can create a um, best feature data frame and create, you know, have it listed there. So let me just quickly create it. So I'm going to say data frame, right? And it's going to be these features, right? And it's going to be the column names that we have from the extra frame data set, right? So it's just going to be these two and I can now enclose them within a curly bracket and give them a column name features and we can give this as importance. 
And while I'm here, I can also sort these values, but now let's just build the model, right? So once we've done that, what we can do is let's display the best features that we have. So I can say best feature dot sort values and give the column name that I want, right? So I want to sort it by importance. Ascending should be equal to false, which is where I'll get the best features. If I run it, um, these are the features. Basically, this should only be the columns. I missed that particular part, right? So that should be the order. Now, as you can see, title, Mr. Fair one, age one, all of these are important variables. But for now, what we're going to do is stick to all of the variables and see what is the score we get from Kaggle, right? And also, this is a classic case of overfitting, which we need to avoid at any cost. So let's go down. So here we're going to do the validation now. I ran the validation set here. Now instead of log model, I'm going to do a tree model here, right? So if I ran it and bring the classification and ran the classification. So as you can see, the F score is reduced. Um, version of what we had here, right? So it was 0.83. Now we're going to 0.8. So basically validation is not working so well. And how can we tell that? So if you look at the pre-score that we had, right? We have roughly around 0.9, which is overfitted. And while it's seeing some new data, it's performing terribly, right? So from this itself, I know that this is a terrible model, but since we are learning, let's go ahead and see what's the score going to be in the Kaggle uh, competition, right? So here I missed the tree model. Let me run it. And here, instead of all variable logistic, I'm just going to call it as decision tree and base it. If I run it, I will basically get a decision tree basic file with me. What I can do is go to the competition, say submit predictions, so we can say decision tree basic model and wait for it to upload. So it's uploaded. Let's make the submission and see what the score is going to be. So the score came around 0 0.70, which is not an improvement over the previous one that we have built, right? So obviously logistic model with all the variables was a very good model, but decision tree model with all the variables um, was definitely a bad model because of the overfitting problem, right? So obviously we want to tune the variables such that this over overfitting does not occur and we're going to do it using a grid search method, right? So in the next video, what we'll try to do is take the grid search method and tune the hyperparameters of a decision tree and see if we can improve the score than the score that we had with logistic regression. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumb button. Please comment if you have any doubts and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.